people in here, this town is going to die. That's why the Haitians are there. Hey, Swear. What's up, T? How you doing? I'm all right. Not too shabby. It's a nice, quiet Sunday here in Central Ohio. I still got both of my pets. Um, <laughs> you know, I was listening to that interview this morning, and I couldn't believe what came out of that fool's mouth. When he said, we we made this up to draw media attention to what was going on with the migrants because of Kamala Harris's policies. I'm like, first of all, she ain't the president, idiot. Two, you just admitted to making up a story to draw media attention to Springfield, Ohio, but you're not doing anything to help the people of Springfield, Ohio. Ain't that your fucking district? Wait a minute, and no matter what, he kept dancing around the, the sheriff, the, no, the mayor saying, we don't have that problem here. We don't have, well, my constituents told me, so the mayor who runs the town and somebody sending you a, some kind of damn Facebook meme, you put them on equal footing? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you know, you know damn well he ain't talked to none of the constituents. He ain't, even, he ain't even been there. He's like, well, I haven't been there in the past four weeks. Well, you would shut up then. Because what you're saying is happening ain't even happening. And then and then Dana Bash asked him, do you want to apologize to Aiden Clark's father? And he danced around that. Look, my heart goes out uh, to the Clark family. But, you know, none of this would have happened if this guy wasn't. I'm like, oh, my God. They just make shit up. That's the dangerous shit. That's the goddamn dangerous shit. And then talking about these illegal immigrants. Wait a minute. They have a pass. They are registered. They went through the steps and yep. they were allowed to go there. And and Dana told him, you may disagree with it, but it's legal. It's the law. So maybe yeah. as a senator, you should have drew up a bill to send over to Congress. To